Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. This time around, we're going to go into this underwater tower, which I, presumably is the Tower of Wells. Presumably the place where the Mimic bastard, and I'm pretty sure also lines up with the final job class, which I still remember was sitting on a ledge in, I think it was this tower. But before I go in, because I won't have time once I do, Ferris is now a freelancer with a lot of HP, which is nice. Uh, that is because I, between this episode and the last one, I went back into the Phoenix Tower to get one magic pot on floor 15 that I skipped. And when, by the time I went in and got that and got out, uh, not only was I like four or five elixirs poorer, um, but I mastered Dragoon. I, what I did not master was Monk on anyone else. Or, for that matter, uh, Chemist on Cryo. So that's going to stay unmastered, which, you know, is a little bit too bad because she could really use the HP. He could probably use the HP as well, actually. Um, but, oh well. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. And this way I like better anyway, because then I my everyone has mastered different job classes thing has more integrity. In any case, in we go. Uh, wow, this is completely underwater. I could probably hold my breath, but only for seven minutes? Okay, so better hurry then. What the? Just die, all of you! It might even be better to just run away, actually. That would be faster, I think. Seven minutes. Who can hold their breath for seven minutes? You know, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, oops. Um, can't go over. There we go. Well, it's right about it being timed in any case. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's much faster. Was that a bomb? What the hell is a bomb doing down here? I just don't know. Uh, box. I'm getting distracted by the box, but I really want the box! Maybe I climb... Okay, I need to climb up for the box. From further down, perhaps? It's not really clear. Whatever, it's probably nothing important. Were those robots? Man, they have everything down here. Everything. But I'm not fighting any of it. The rewards aren't worth it, to be blunt. Not when I have a five and a half minute time limit, give or take. I mean, at first I thought they're all grid out because I was underwater, but now I'm not so certain. It take it. Okay, it stopped in the text box, so it has taken the first two acts. But now the amazing power of this crystal shard is within my competent grasp. I shan't allow you to take it. So turn back and be gone. Uh, no. Tisk tisk tisk. Then the curtain rises. Famed Mimic Gogo. My name is Gogo, Mimic Extraordinaire! The basis, no, the very soul of mimicry is the ability to aptly imitate anything, no matter the situation. Thusly, I will imitate your every move. When you attack, I will attack. When you cast a spell, I will cast a spell. 
Could you imitate me? You'd certainly win! More likely, it'll be curtains for you! Okay, so, what I've been told, and I'll, I, I say told, but I'll elaborate th on this in a second, is that to win this battle, I need to do absolutely nothing. Um, which with the time limit is kind of stress-inducing. Uh, the reason I know about Gogo specifically is because he is a, um, he cameos as a playable character in Final Fantasy VI for some reason, <laughs> where he does pretty much the same thing as in this game, come to think of it. He just basically troll mimics everything. Um, but him being in that game made me cu I knew when he was in that game that he was a, uh, reappearing and he was in this game first, so that prompted me to look him up. And this was, like, probably years ago, but as a result, I know quite a lot more about Gogo and his dungeon than almost everything up till now. Uh, and I still managed to miss the treasure, so, you know figure that one out. Um, how long do I need to wait? This is really making me nervous. <laughs> also kind of like the, I want to say chocobo music, but this is not chocobo music, more like Moogle music, I guess you could say, but how long do I need to wait? Uh... And it, come on, please be done. I'm kind of nervous here. I mean, like, how, seriously, how long do I need to wait before he just dies and I win? D do I need to, like, take off my regen? Or maybe he's been down here longer and he just drowns first. <laughs> I'd believe it. But I'm definitely mimicking him in that neither of us are doing anything. Uh, oh, bravo, bravo! Perfect, just lovely! You see me doing nothing! And you are copying that nothing yourselves! Rather. You are doing perfectly nothing, perfectly! Yes, you feel it, the essence of mimicry! I give you my blessing to continue the true path of imitation. I do break a leg. And he banishes himself. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. Resting within a shard, a warrior spirit. Mime. And hey, my timer is no, no, it's not. Uh, gonna go ahead and teleport out of here. Teleport! Also, I have heard something about the mime class. I don't know if it's true, so I'm gonna confirm it now. I've heard that despite it having class a class level, that... It has three job, um, options. And it totally does! Awesome! Although, presumably, presumably I'm losing something in exchange for this. What exactly, I couldn't say, but something. But it means I can do white magic and time magic and summons! All at the same time. And if you recall, Lena didn't ha wasn't using a ribbon anyway. Um, although I'm gonna need to give her a different weapon, I guess. I had her with the Defender for a while, because, for a little bit, because I figured, hey, more evasion. Well, that seems like a good idea, which reminds me, Elven Mantle. So do any of these give her evasion? Um... Signs point to new. Can you use two? No, you cannot. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just give her the Rising Sun 
for now. Maybe the Sages. Well, it doesn't increase her magic. I. W hmm. You know, I'll just give her the healing staff. She can have it. It does, after all, increase her magic power. Which is, you know, nice. Um. So. I wonder, though. Should I turn. Okay, so since the since it does have three, I assume that the ability layout is the same as from what I've heard. Uh, actually, you know, I can just check Lena. It is. No item command, no attack command, just mimic. Um. Actually, I wonder, can you, like, equip an attack? You can! There's an attack command. Is there an item command? There is! Okay then. So that said, I'm not sure. Obviously, that this means it's really good for uh, mages, but I'm not certain if it's worthwhile to put on to make Ferris a mime. It would give her an extra ability, but I don't really think she actually benefits that much from it. I mean, she has a several decent attack substitutes. She has Mug, she has Lance. But... she It's not like she would get more magic out of it. Like, if she was a blue mage, then I... Or, actually, if she had any other ma mage, then I would do it in an instant. Because, hey, double cast and two spells sounds way better than double cast and one spell. In fact, if I had double cast on Lena... I would just be in, like, so happy right now. But I don't. Oh well. I know better now, but it's not gonna affect this game. In any case, uh, with... I like the cape. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, if anyone would benefit from turning into a mime, it would be Kryle. Except not really, because she kind of needs the weapon slots to be freed up so she can use the Masamune in particular actually um which by the way I realize this is slightly stronger than the Masamune but the reason I have her with the Masamune instead of the Holy Lance is because well criticals but also because right now she deals non-elemental damage whereas Bart's here with the Excalibur as well as the Holy Lance, would deal holy damage, which, after the Gargoyles, I'm a little bit wary of. So I want to make sure I have one big damage dealer that, you know, is completely non-elemental. Thus, Masamune. And I don't think it really has a huge, huge impact on her damage anyway. Uh, that all said, I have taken officially taken care of everything now. So, uh, can I surface? Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, now then. I need to sell a bunch of shit. I need to purchase. Um, how many Fuma Shurikens do I have? One. I probably want to buy a few of these. I think I honestly probably have enough elixirs. And then I might fly into here today. And if not, I'll just do it next time. Um. Yeah, pretty much. So let's go get those shurikens. As I recall, I. Was it the back room of the pub? It was. Because the what to get into the back room of the weapon shop or the second dealer, however you want to say it, was really asinine. Um which reminds me actually, while I'm here. I wanted to Oh, I forgot about that. I wanted to see if this door actually does something! 
seriously, what is up with that? Uh, oh. The last piano! A piano of Vadril Sewer, indeed. After a bit more practice, anyway. I think I just mastered the piano! Awesome! I didn't even know if I had to guess, I'd say this probably connects to the void later on. Um, but anyway, Weepons. Fuma Shurikens. I want four of them. Because I think five will be enough to ca basically carry me. Um. <laughs> Oh, also, as long as I'm back here anyway. Oh, I already did that. Okay then. However, since I found that piano, totally by accident, because you know that happens with alarming regularity, there's still one more thing I can do this video before I cut it off, because I think I am going to save entering the void for its own video. I don't know how long it'll take or anything, so it's probably safe to just do it at the beginning of one. So, so, let's go to Crescent, because I'm pretty sure that guy will give me a new song if I, I, I ha am a master pianist. Not that it even really matters, it's not like I'm going to ever use the Bard songs, but I want to see what it is. Say, that's a nice tune. Now, here's a song for you. Ha ha! Sinewy and... Etude? If you sing this in battle, you'll find yourself with the strength of the gods. Wait, so what does it do? Uh... Increases party strength while performed. That is really vague. Like, this increases speed, but... I find this is doesn't really seem to have any actual real effect, so I don't know. It's nice to, to have it in any case. Too bad I'm still missing one. Oh well. Oh well, it's it's not important. It just isn't. So I have basically finished everything outside of the void. With that said, oh that was close. You have no idea how many times I've had I have flown into this stupid thing off screen only so only have to reset. Like you just have no idea. I've done it a lot. I have done it a freaking lot. Anyway. Anyway. Save. And I uh, I'm gonna stop off here. I think I already said I was gonna do that. Oh well. So, until next time, when we enter the void and finish the game! Which I gotta say, I've been loving. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy V with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.